54th match for Zayed Khan. 81 wickets, averaging 26 a wicket. An economy rate of less than five. And in the modern game, that's not too bad at all. In this series, five wickets. Zahir to Astel. Oh, that's a very good shout. He's given it. It's the crooked finger. It's a nod of the head, but then it was the crooked finger, and Astel is on his way back. What a strike for Zahir Khan. Very well bowled by Zahir. Right on the button there. There it is. Coming in just a little bit. Not even fully forward, Nathan Astle. He might have uh, created a bit of confusion in the mind of the umpire because of that exaggerated follow-through. And that's why the umpire took his time to raise that crooked finger. Billy Bowden giving Nathan Astle out. And it's a start, much like India's has been in the previous matches. New Zealand, one wicket down without a run on the ball. Matthew Sinclair at three for the Black Caps of New Zealand. In his 30th match, he's averaging 29. Four half centuries and two centuries. He's got a 70 in this series. And Zayar Khan on the mark. Astle's removed. Oh, he's bowled him. That is a great delivery. Zayar Khan is on fire. Well, he had no clue. Matthew Sinclair has looked in good touch, but this time he had absolutely no clue. Shouldering arms, and look at that. The ball coming back just a little bit, hitting the top of the off stump. And Zaid's got two in two. Delighted, isn't he? So New Zealand now lose their second wicket, and they still do not have a run on the board. Chris Harris recalled to this side with 216 matches under his belt. And the moment of truth, really, for Chris Harris. He's a seasoned campaigner, 216 matches. He's in his 217th. He's averaging 30. But now, crucially, he's on a hat trick. He faces Zaire Khan, who has removed Nathan Astel and Matthew Sinclair. The last Indian player to take a hat-trick was Kapil Dev against Sri Lanka in Calcutta in 1990. And Stephen Fleming, the Kiwi captain, is watching. Zaire Khan on a hat-trick. Stonewall defence from Harris. 